Hey, sorry we're late. I had to shave and get my big headphones. Let's get right in about it. Boom. Hello and welcome Hello, to the first, sisters. Hello and welcome to the first ever Sunday with the Suns hosted by us EHC. I'm Alex, that's Aaron and that is Chris and we have got a banger of a show lined up for you guys today. But first of all, for those of you who are new here and you don't know about the Sons of Fire, let me tell you just a little bit of information about us. Right. So, the Sons of Fire UK chapter is an unincorporated charitable association. Now, what that basically means is we are a group of people who like to go and find small charities that we can help with awareness and donations from the club and its members. We also like to help small batch makers by creating awareness about the incredible products that you guys produce. So guys, without a further ado, let's uh, let's get on with the show. We have got well, I've already said it. We've got a banger, lads. We've got a guest on. We've got <coughs> a review coming, and we have got a challenge later on this evening. But first of all, I want to say, how are you boys feeling about this being our first show? Come on. Oh, right. A little a little bit nervous. Right. But yeah. I can see yeah, in your man. face, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know we're, we're a bit more we're a bit more used to being in front of the camera than Chris is. Yeah, right? like, I haven't you know, I haven't that's... done that many lives. I've only been live twice. So, <laughs> so it's, gonna, it's gonna be a lot more than that now. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Now, obviously, Extreme Heat Challenge. Uh, we are so proud to be a part of the Sounds of Fire. Of Honored. Um, we okay. we jumped at the opportunity for this uh, slot and. Um, Thank you, thank you. Um, thank to you. We, we, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, we we honestly were so honoured to be able to do this and work with everyone as well. And obviously, you know, get the guests on and, and have a chat with everybody. And uh, I'm looking forward to our guest tonight. Um, we'll, we'll mention that in a minute. But um, yeah, oh, wow. all I'm going to say is, guys, we're going to have a blast. We are going to have indeed, such a indeed. blast. So... Shall we get right in about it and get our first guest on the screen with us? Our first ever guest on our show, guys. Shall we bring him in? We should bring him in. Okay, yeah, let's bring we, him in. Let's bring him in. Everybody, welcome Extreme Heat Pete to the Evening first up. ever Sunday with the Suns. Oh. Hello, Pete. There he is, Evening, guys. the man himself. So, how are you feeling? Because uh, I'm pretty sure everyone watching uh, <laughs> saw you take on the Verde Challenge, the Cap Gun Challenge earlier. That was a banger, mate. Banger. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done to you and Joe. You both completely smashed it. But tell us a little bit about it. How are you feeling? Uh, how, how was the challenge in general? Yeah, the, the challenge is really good. It's an enjoyable challenge. It's great company, of course, with Joe and Ken. Of course. Uh, the challenge <laughs> yeah. itself was a bit ramped up from the V1 itself. There's been more yeah. kick to the uh, kick to it. Uh, the powder was really, really nice. The powder, you've got to get some of that powder down there. It's really, really nice. And the, the Verde sauce was just mind-blowing. How, how's your job Really, really nice. I'd recommend it to any of you, you who recommend it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I'm i going to just throw it out there. I already have it and I'm looking forward to Honestly, I watched the review. Next week. I watched, Next I watched, week. I, I know, I watched the review and I was so excited to do it that I was just like, do you know what? I need to try and crack this out. So, yeah, man, I, I'm so excited. I'm just going to say, I was not aware that Alex had the birthday. So, uh, let me let me just do something right now here for <laughs> our live show. This, this is a piece of paper and this is a pen. 
And I'm about to put a note for next week's show that Alex is doing the bird. <laughs> I was no, I was I was going to mention I I, I, I was going to mention it at the end of the show, but yeah, I, now I have to do it. It's it's written down. That's it. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be stuck up on the on the thing now. You know it is mean? a That's nice so game. Funny. Well done on that though, Pete. That that honestly, mate. You know you got bigger balls than I have. It was. There's, there's no. There's no problems with the gut or anything. It settles nicely in the gut. Yeah. So that that's a good thing, right? It, it doesn't destroy your gut. So. Me. No. <laughs> so Pete, not only not only are you here uh, to answer a few of our um, our intrusive questions, Very uh, intrusive. but <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously, obviously they're not. Um, you're also here to take on a challenge later, aren't you? That, uh, oh, I am indeed. You know, I am indeed. One yes. of my favourite ones at the moment. <laughs> yes, awesome. So, um, yeah, w- without further ado, one of you two can ask him the first question. And uh, I think it's time for us to uh, find out a little bit more about Extreme Heat Heat. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like the little cut, like the little set, the little segue that I did to that? Then, boys, honestly, that was just off the cuff oh, as well. You see that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> on. On. Chris, I'll ask you, mate. Oh, all right, then I'll shoot. Right, Pete, what's your favourite yeah. sauce? What's my favourite sauce? Now I'm torn between a few. Right, so can I pick a couple, <laughs> or is it just got to be one? Oh, we are. Has it got to be one or just a couple? Uh, well, as many as you want, man. You're, 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 you're answering the question. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. wait, wait, wait. My favourite one, one. Right at the moment. You wanted to do one. Tasco Raspberry Chipotle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Who's it made by? It's by, made by the Tabasco Co. Tabasco? Ooh. Tabasco, actual Tabasco. Hey. Oh, wow. Yeah. And let me turn Come the bottle Basco. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, he's like, come on, Pete. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at that bottle, that though. That, that is nice. nice looking. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is a nice looking. That is one of my favourites on ice cream right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Sean, yeah. is that an but... EHC sauce that I can see? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, is, it is Sean, believe it or not. It is an EHC source that you can see right there in front of your eyes. Um, That's sexy looking at, isn't it? Yeah. It's so, it indeed. after you, Aaron, let's... Uh... Yeah, so, um, <laughs> Pete, yep. seeing as they're your favourite hot sauces, you know, it's been mentioned. Yep. Um, Chuck. <laughs> what is your favourite chilli pod? What is your chilli? What is your favourite chilli pod, brother? Chilli pod would happen to be a habanero right now. Nice oh, good habanero. Man. Nice. Little right. Right now, habanero. Yeah, everyone loves a habanero. I love a habanero right now. So, okay, so listen, I, I, I have to do it. Guys, I'm I'm sorry, I have to do it right. You guys have asked what his favourite sauce is and what his favourite pod is, right? You must have you must have a worst tasting sauce that you have ever tried. What one would that be? No lying. We need honesty here. This is what we do. You need absolute honesty, right? Yeah, what honesty, right. the worst sauce honest. you've ever tried. It's this one here called wet fart. Right? <laughs> It's got Parmesan cheese in, clam juice, and God knows whatever oh. else in it. And I did That's this. Oh, I did what is this? Who made this? Who made it? Um, wasn't Jamie Oliver, was it? It wasn't Jamie Oliver. I think it was London. I mean, Pete, when it when it arrived and you opened the package, right? And you was like, "Oh, I'm going to review this sauce. I'm expecting great things. It's called fart juice." <laughs> <laughs> with the ingredients in there, can you imagine how revolting that? <laughs> imagine that. Really. Made by Joe's hot sauce. Joe's Sorry, hot Joe, sauce. I don't like, I don't like the Sorry, idea. Of that, that was really, really, really disgusting. It didn't settle well on the gut either. I bet. I think I'm going to take your word. 
I'm gonna take your word for that. Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. I think I'll take your word for that as well. I, I don't, any, I don't see myself any, picking up a bottle any, of fart juice. Any juice <laughs> containing Parmesan cheese and clam juice, you know it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just them two, them two combined <laughs> cheese and clam juice. <laughs> Interest. What chili is oh, in that, mate? That is funny. That is funny. That is habanero. Habanero. His favourite chili at the moment. <laughs> uh, carrots in the habaneros, lime juice, Worcestershire sauce, tomato juice, clam juice. Fresh onions, fresh garlic, oh. spices, gum. I uh, feel like I need a beer next cheese. to me to be sick in just hearing that. Romano cheese. Oh, got two what? Cheese. All right. All right. I don't hear about it. Right. So we're moving on. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. <laughs> how, did, yes. how did you How did you uh, become a, uh, a member of Sons of Fire anyway, brother? What drew your uh, attention to it? That's a good one. Now, I've seen people over the Facebook and over YouTube and all that all wearing these pretty cool Sons cups, which I'm still waiting for my cup to arrive. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen them wearing these cool cups, and I thought, well, it'd be a dream one day to be part of such an amazing group. And lo and behold, a few months back, I was invited to be become a member for what I've achieved and everything. I felt it'd been a great honour to be recognised as being brought forward as a member of the Sons of Fire, which has Absolutely. been a dream come true since I started. In, yeah, like exactly, my, man. No, and I will wear my cup with pride when it arrives. As as will we all, as will we all, you know. I just haven't got my badges yet. <laughs> got the... He's got his cup, but he hasn't got his patches. <laughs> so, right. Pete, I have to ask you, us, us being Extreme Heat Challenge, right? Yeah. Where did the name Extreme Heat Peak come from? Like, how did you, was it just something that you was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll call myself Extreme Heat Peak? Right. When, yeah, I, when, I, when I first started out, I was called Chili Peak. Then my son said, that doesn't really have a ring ring to it. And I'm doing these really, really hot stuff in the early stages. So we turned around and thought, how about Extreme Heat Peak? And my son turned around and said, yeah, Extreme Heat Peak, that sounds really, really cool. So it's basically my hey, inspiration to uh, yeah. name Extreme Heat Peak to the public. And ever since then, it's stuck. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. It is a good oh, title. Song for that. Definitely a good title. No, definitely. Like we'll have to get you. We'll have to get you in on a couple of uh, collab videos of EHC, yeah, man. And that would be, that'd be awesome. awesome. I want to come down east. Yeah, man. Wings. Yeah, I know. I know. You were telling me about that as well. Um yeah. Yeah. The wings. Right. This is actually a very good question for me, considering I've only just started on the journey and all that lot. Um, so, um, Pete, what advice would you give someone to just starting out doing the whole chili journey and live videos? Right. I would suggest not to go straight in with the hot stuff. Build yourself <laughs> up. Right, start mild and then work <laughs> We've all been there. I know there's some people out there who go wham straight into the hot stuff and then it wrecks them and then they turn around and say no I don't want to do it no more so I'd say start off the mild and keep things simple to start with and then build on what, you, what you're working on and eventually you'll get to the stages where you guys are and other people yeah that's some incredible yeah, advice right there that, that does sound like really good advice Definitely. And the other thing is, well, if you look at the comment that just uh, went by uh, from Joe Shim, it said um, about, um, you know, if you have a nickname like that, you know, people expect you to deliver. Yeah. You know, when people hear Extreme Heat, yeah, exactly. they want to they wanna see this guy taking on some mad challenges. I mean, we've even had this ourselves with ex being Extreme Heat Challenge. Yeah. A lot of people sometimes tune in you know not for uh, a, a hot sauce review which for us we we love that we love the funny videos you know we love a bit of you know yeah. bit, bit of snot but at the same time what it is all about is uh, that love for the chili of course you know and the flavor so you know I, I i know what it's like a lot of people they expect you to deliver with absolutely insane stuff all the time um, i mean i've seen i've seen pete take on some 
some crazy incredible challenge. challenges. Yeah. I um, mean, some, yeah, some crazy, incredible challenges. And, you know, um, before, before I became a member of Suns, I actually, um, I subscribed to Pete. I was what I actually used to watch Pete's channel, like quite a lot. So, yeah, it was kind of weird when I joined and I, I realised that Pete was in and I was like, oh, wow. Um, but I do need to ask you, and this is going to be my last question. Um, what made you start reviewing and like, how did you feel like the first time being in front of the camera? Now, I know personally the first time I was in front of the camera, I was I was nervous. We were stumbling over our words. Um, things things weren't flowing as sort of easily as they do now. I just I wanted to get your your like thoughts on what it was like to do your first review and and how it felt to be in front of the camera, knowing that what you was putting out there was going to be broadcast to like potentially thousands of people. So when I first started out, I felt really really nervous in front of the camera. I was unsure what I was doing. I, had, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was just winging it all the time. But over the months I've been going, I've been going now just over a year, I've learnt my confidence in front of the camera has built up. Uh, I'm coming, I'm researching sources on a daily basis, trying to find the next best thing to review and give my honest opinion, 100% honest opinion on the product I'm reviewing itself. Which is always the best yeah. thing to do is give your honest opinion on what you're tasting, so it sells yeah. the products. That's it, and as well, I, I guess with exactly honesty, right. as well, you, you have to be honest as well. Like I, I've had I've had some you know a bit of slack for it before. Uh, you know, sometimes I can be too honest. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I, 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 yeah, I just I like to be honest. I like that with your uh, reviews, Pete, as well. Um, you know, you, you set how it is. Um, I'm kind of dreading actually the uh, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> there, so. yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see that review go up, man. Honestly, I'll be a good review. Two days personally, time. Personally, Two days usually... time. There you go. You heard it here yeah. first. <laughs> no, I, personally, I've I've I use mine on a daily basis, but I've I, I would never review my own source, so I'm really looking forward to uh, to, to seeing other people's oh, reviews. Yeah. I mean, I reviewed it on I reviewed it on Pete's show because uh, obviously I I didn't actually have a, a part in like making the sauce, so I was I was able to review it and give like my honest feedback. Yeah. Like, yeah. I yeah I remember reviewing it on Pete's show. Then hmm. yeah, anyway, mine mine that lovely looking saucer. So there is one <laughs> question I have for you, Pete. This is this one's this one's a killer, I think. Uh, just quickly, let me just answer that question at the bottom there. You have to message this beautiful uh, face. Contact right? Aaron. <laughs> and uh, you send, <laughs> message Aaron. <laughs> you send yeah. Money. You send money, and I send you sauce. I'm joking. That's it, Sean. That is exactly yes, it. Sean, that is so true. true so yourself. true, mate. So um, true. That's exactly. It. It's, it's about how you put yourself across as well, with yeah. the words you use, with your demeanor, everything. Now, with that in mind, we've got your we've got your uh, favorite sauce, we've got your worst sauce, we've got uh, how you got your title, um, and various other things. But there is one question I have for you: Go ahead. Go ahead. What is your worst ever chili experience? My worst ever chili experience. Right. Yes. When, I, when I first started out, when I was a spring chicken, I did a dried Carolina Reaper. Right, the video's out there somewhere. <laughs> doing, a, doing a dried Carolina Reaper. And as soon as yeah. it hit me, it was like I was going into labour. I was like giving birth to something. But I don't know what I was giving birth to. <laughs> Screaming and uh, you was given uh, you was given birth to, you was given birth to extreme heat <laughs> pee. Yeah, what yeah. was happening? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I was unsure of what what was happening to me. It was awful. And then afterwards, I got the cramps for the first time. It was whoa, really? Yeah, was, I remember yeah. the time I got cramps. I thought I was going to die too. I was curled up around. Uh, yeah. the and I'm not going to lie. I put it out there. I was I was sweating so much. I was so clammy. I, I just didn't know what to do. Naked on the floor, crying. 
That's the truth. So that's my work to do. What, what was he saying, bro? That, that, that actually one. sounds like when I was on the video called you two and I did that dry ghost pepper. Yeah. Oh, all, the heat, like all the heat they, just went boom. And it's like, oh, I can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. That, that it, was it, awful. Isn't it? Yeah. That was when oh, we right. were trying to push you to do your first review. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, you Chris, like, have you got any more questions? Oh, you got yes. any more questions uh, you'd like to Anyway, say? last of all, Pete, yeah. what can we expect yeah. coming through me next? Oh, you can expect some really crazy stuff. I'm constantly pushing my levels up. Uh, the 6.4 million Strobel Nuts by Mark Burns. I'm currently standing. Extract is three. right. But I'm going. Yeah. I'm, I'm moving up to six eventually, so I'm going to smash that out at six to make it unbeatable. Yeah. But I've also got That's some what we like to hear. things in the pipeline. Some really exciting stuff coming up in the pipeline soon. Some really extreme stuff. So. Excellent. Look, looking I'm forward to. So obviously, everyone watching. He's got a lot of stuff coming up. Make sure you jump over and you obviously uh, subscribe to Pete's channel and, you know, sh sh show him some love, guys. Show him some love. So, yeah. Wow. There, year, there is actually year, one last question. There's a whole new level coming. You're going to do what, Pete? Next year's a whole new level coming. Oh, I look forward extreme. to it. Next year's going to be double extreme. Yes. That's what we like to. That is it. Actually, do you know what? There is one thing, Pete. Yeah. What is what? What is the hottest? The hottest? The most extreme product that you've done? What is the hottest thing? Right. Uh, I would say. What's what's, had... what's intimidated you the most? I would say it's the hell unleashed. I totally agree. <laughs> oh uh, I, bit, I beat that a few months ago by doing these two bad boys simultaneously. The Wilshire Chili Farms Regret. Oh, oh mate, we've, we've, we've played with regret. regret. Simultaneously. <laughs> yeah. That's I, one that we, I have not been introduced to yet. <laughs> Me and Aaron have played with both of them sources. <laughs> yeah, we've played with both of them sources and they are not fun. <laughs> no, I did both of them. One after the first the time. One. Yeah, uh, Lewis Chili Festival was the first time we tried that. That was my first. Yeah. Whoa. And that was, that was when we was we was freshly, fresh new to this at all as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this challenge you've got coming up a little later on, Pete. Yeah. Indeed. So what we're going to do, Pete, is we're going to drop you out right now and we're going to move on to the next segment and we will bring you back uh, as soon as we are ready for you to take on this challenge, my friend. Okay, thanks for the questions, guys. It's been a pleasure. No problem, That's brother. cool, bro. Right, so there goes Pete. And on to the next part of the show. <clears throat> well, hey, that went well, guys. You know, we weren't too intrusive. Indeed. No, so, we weren't intrusive. No, no, I should, I should have asked him for his home address. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So, on to the next part of the show, which is uh, a source review. Uh, this is going to be something that we try to do every single week. Uh, we're going to be reviewing... <laughs> we're going to be doing this every single week. Uh, loads of different sources, uh, spicy products and things, whatever we can get our hands on. We will definitely bring them here and show you guys and tell you guys all about it me and aaron are going to be reviewing solaris solaris yes and chris is going to be reviewing don't mind he's got a gap x small beast i, I, I know <laughs> So I had to remember, I had to try and remember it because the, I had a little bit of an accident with the bottle. So, um, <laughs> I'll jump that bottle, Chris. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I yeah. Picked, I picked it up and the whole right. bottom of the bottle just literally fell off. Okay, that's incredible. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll touch on, we'll touch more on that later. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that's something for a whole new segment of the show. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll call it Chris's calamities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you picked up the bowl, a, a bottle yeah. like this, and <laughs> the box just went. Ooh. Literally, yeah, literally, it's like I picked it up to move it, and then all yeah. of a sudden, it, it's just the whole bottom just fell off. <laughs> yeah. Lucky that, enough, there's that my... wrong statement right then. You picked it up to move it. Why weren't you picking it up <laughs> to eat it? Because I had to move it from my table. To my shelf. It just didn't... Well, we clearly didn't want to be sat on the shelf, so serves you right. So, <laughs> right. so there, there it you is. go. There is Burning Desire Foods at the bottom of the screen. Give them a look. And, yeah, they've got some amazing products on there. One of my favourite ones, I don't know about you, Aaron, I don't know if you've tried it yet, is um, they actually do an amazing uh, syrup with bourbon and chipotle. Um, yep. I know you got the spice rum one, didn't you? I did. I uh, that is incredible. Chili syrup. Yeah. I mean, I've not used Honestly. it yet. But I do. I, I'm showing the world. Mate, it is incredible. It is incredible cooked on some wings, man. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I actually, after after I did that bottle that we got at the Chili Festival, I went out and bought two more bottles. <laughs> i just point out as well, um, just for everyone watching, um, oh, this Laura sort of uh, the label is fantastic. Ignore the colour you're seeing on my screen. The colour you are oh, seeing on oh, Alex's oh, screen oh. is the the best likeness to what this colour is. If I put this directly under the light behind me, it is that colour. Um, just got bad light in here, guys. Beautiful oh. colour. Bright, vibrant, vibrant yellow. And it's just... It's amazing. It's uh, Trinidad 7-pot scorpion chilli with honey, mustard and lime. So you're expecting some big things and some big flavours to sort of, you know, come crashing through here. And then you should have like a nice little citric kick and then some sweetness from the honey. Um, I'm, I'm looking for like mine. Savory, that savoury like note though from the mustard as well. That That is yeah. always hot sauce, mustard. It, it just carries this. Oh, just... Exactly, guys. Great. So That's... I'm just going to do what I always do, which is. Give it a smell. You can really smell the, the mustard <clears throat> as well as the Trinidad's just sort of Shake. it's like they're marrying together so well. I love marrying it. I love it. Marrying together. Yo, Let me marrying that. together. I'd put a ring on this. I'd do more to it than that. This is good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, the honey as well. I smell the honey. Honey's great. Yeah. You can get like the sweetness. Yeah, but it smells hot as well. Oh, honey. So. oh it smells it does it smells really hot. This this is gonna be a really interesting sauce. Um yeah. All right, so let's have a look at this pour. Oh, hang on, wait. This is where I pour so much. Oh, look at that. Nice pour. It's not too thin. It's not too thin, no. It's quite a nice consistency. I like quite a nice consistency on there. Nice. Yeah. Also, just... Aaron always has something to put it on. <laughs> he's just, it's like he's got a mini fridge next to his table and he just pulls out like like chicken legs or like a sausage roll or something. That looks as he has. No. The thing is, I'm going, when I'm doing a sauce with you, I, I don't like just taking it off the spoon because with metal spoons, especially, they taint the sauce. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, wooden that. spoons, they, they again, they taint the sauce. So. Um, I, I always prefer to have it with food or, you know. Anyway, it delivers. Yeah. Let's you do know. it. And everyone always knows that below screen, off screen, whatever, you know there's chicken around me. Whether it's yeah. my plate, whatever, chickens, it's there. You've seen the videos. <laughs> oh, wow. So right off the bat, you get a nice warmth from the Trinidad. Sauces are made for food, you are correct. You get the nice warmth from the Trinidad. And then what I've noticed straight after is actually the mustard, not so much the honey. 
the sweetness I was expecting to carry through like a bit more in the beginning. Um, but yeah, it's it sort of, you've got the Trinidad heat with like the mustard just coming in after to sort of cleanse like some of that heat away. Start out, you get a little citrus kick from the lime, like I said. But then once it reaches, once the heat reaches its peak, uh, which it's at right now, it's sitting, at, it's just sitting there. It doesn't grow too much, does it? Um, that's when the sweetness comes in, followed by like this really nice savoury note. I just I don't know what like, what to say really. You and you can taste okay. the Trinidad Scorpion all the way through. Yeah, it's it's a distinctive flavour that Trinidad Scorpion. Oh yeah. The thing is, yeah, the mustard. You're right. The mustard is there. It's it's amazing. Like uh, I, I expect it would be the honey. It it's like the, it's, the honey doesn't come through nowhere near as much as what I thought it would. But what it does do, no, is it creates this real nice undertone. And so mm -hmm. the heat isn't totally attacking your tongue. It's almost like this. Um, it's hard to describe. It's like this sweet but really damn spicy. Then it just sits so nicely, it's smooth. You know, that's it. Smooth. It is. It's really mm. nice. The lime. I didn't get the lime in particular. I definitely get the citric note. You know, it's, um, I like that though. The heat is definitely up there. Yeah. There's no extract. It's all natural. It just pops. I, I can't. You know, it's just popping. So Honestly, what, um, I'll bring it and you could try it tomorrow. Yeah. What What? What, what would you say um, the number rating on flavour then? Oh, that's a nine. Yeah, easy. What, all day, be? every day. I highly recommend this sauce. Heat I would up. say, because what we started doing is we started doing a heat rating for if you're like new to the whole chili thing. An average. And yeah. And then if you sort of, you you know, you, you've got, you've kind of built up a bit of a tolerance to it. Um, I'd say if you built up a tolerance, you're looking at about a three, maybe a three and a half. But when you get a little bit higher, I mean, I'd probably say, what, about six? Kind of double it yeah. or? Yeah, yeah, it is, it, it's definitely not middle of the road, is it? It, it definitely, uh, the heat peaks. And yeah. it, it sits on the tip of your tongue, but not just that, it gets your lips if you get on your lips. You know? Oh, no, I literally just had it, but just come across my lips just here. But I would, I'd say for a chilli head, you know, a mm -hmm. proper chili head, you're looking at maybe a middle of the road five or six sauce. For anyone that's new to this, you'd you would find this quite hot. I'd say you'd find it like a seven yeah. or an eight. Until you hit um, you find extract in your life and then you'll actually, you know <laughs> you'll realise gee, this isn't that hot. <laughs> we don't So like that that is Solaris reviewed, I'd say. Um it is, it is very beautiful, and we highly recommend that you check out, um, was it is Burning, uh, Burning, Desire Foods. Burning Desire Hot Sauce or Burning Desire Foods, and you definitely get yourself a bottle of this, and, you know, if you uh, drop a review, just let us know, and we'll, we'll watch it, and it'll be great to see what all you other guys think of it. Yeah, it's um, absolutely amazing, and Jason, Jason puts in a lot of love to all of his products. And yeah, Dara he's got some... He's I got met, some bangers as well. He has. I remember when I met uh, Jason a couple of years ago at the my first ever Brighton Flurry Food Festival, and there yeah. was when I met uh, Sid Barber, Chili Sid, and uh, I also met Shahina that day. And um, yeah, he's such a great guy. You know, he's so damn friendly. Mm. Like, and uh, when I got to see him again uh, at the Brighton Flurry Food Festival again this year. Mm. Um, yeah, again, he the the range had increased. He's got more sauces. He's got syrups now. He's got rubs. He's got curry sauces and paste. And do you know what, guys? Plus, the guy, the what, guy what? lives. And I love. I just put quickly. I love the quality. That like the label is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Plus, what I noticed because uh, obviously I took a bit of time talking to him as well before we move on. Um, he talks with real passion. 
That's when he's it. talking to you about his sources, <laughs> and you can you can see that come through with it's his not- creations. I, I remember it, Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah. Is that the name of it? That was that yeah. was hot. That, that was that was no joke. But really you know, hot. like I said, give them give them a try, guys. You know, no. incredible. Now, this one to me. Um, moving on now, uh, it's it's quite important because it's not every day us in the chili community where. We know about sources. We know about other people's products. We 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 see it out there on a daily basis. We're all friends here, all family. Um, but do you know what? When I am on the Facebook Marketplace and I come across a little gem made by one of our very own mm. uh, producers, Dan Reed from Chile of the Valley. Um, incredible man. Incredible, not only did he recently, we had the Suns feed for the charity source, um, which 100% yeah. of all proceeds go towards uh, that charity. Amazing guy. But he's done a collaboration with an amazing band, right? Terracost. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, of course, Chris is going to uh, run, well, not run through, but he's going to um, mention the, the video that the, the it's almost like an advertisement. The music is cut. All right, it's got a little clip there. Hold on. Right, that probably didn't come out with when the six should have, but I'm not gonna lie, it didn't come out nowhere near as good as I thought it would. No, <laughs> we'll we'll have to work on that, boys. I think. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we will. Um, Thanks. Right. Fail of the century. Yeah. Right, well, anyway. it's the first one so far, so let's let's keep it there, lads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so right. as you have. anyway, Chris, far away. Terracos, this band's a Cambridge band. They originally started in two oh nine, two thousand nine, um, but then they gave up a year later. But they're back now. Back, and I have actually been listening to their back catalogue because uh, I it's the style of music I'm into. Hey. Um, the fast pace of their drums and everything is a load of influences, band influences, like fresh bands, uh, all stuff like that. And they've got a really nice chuggy sound to them as well. So they've got Megadeth, Pantera, Steve Vai, Fast Guitars. They really, really know how to play their stuff. Um, I'm actually hoping that that track, that little clip turns into a whole complete track because be I cool. think I think it would be absolutely amazing. I love where they're going. Their sound is just going so good. Oh, and man. they collaborated to do a source, which is even better. Look at that label. Uh, what a banger, it, mate. Look at it that. It is an awesome label. It's just like, uh, it's so cool. I think cool. Aaron's <laughs> right now. Are you Absolute going to tell us about the source, name. Aaron? Uh, yeah, first of all, it's 18 rated, so um, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> this, is where it's, this is where it's like proper hot, and he's like, oh, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I die on camera when someone's done something to the source. Anyway. So, um, yeah. Let me find the ingredients. Um, so we've got maple syrup, cider vinegar, apple juice. Oh, sounds good so far, doesn't it, guys? Mm. Trinidad Maruga scorpions, brown sugar, tomato powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, vanilla extract. Mm. That's different. Garlic powder and salt. So it sounds pretty good. Um, I guess... With the Southern Fried Suicide, I guess, I presume, Christian or Dan Reed, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess you'll go with a Southern Fried sort of base from, you know, going along with some of these ingredients. I look forward to that. Southern Fried. Give it, give, chicken. give it a while. Come on. Let's see what we got, yeah. And we, we should have just enough time for Chris to review his sauce 
before we move on to the next segment and to get Pete in to do his challenge. All right. See, here um, we go. You know, straight away, this reminds me of a sauce. A little bit. The smell. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Stephen Gifford's Three Four Raid Chilies. Um, his uh, Game Over sauce. It smells like that. I guess it's the apple. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's got to be the apple. But I, I, to be honest, the scorpion. I'm not smelling. I'm not smelling it. Mm. I can smell apple. And is it not as prominent as it is in? Because uh, it was quite prominent in it Solaris, was prom- wasn't it? You could. It's, it's not as prominent as that. Sorry, I, you can't really see the pork. There you go. It's quite famous. Oh, wow. It's quite nice. Yeah. Do you reckon it's going to be the one where you can't detect the scorpion in there, but all of a sudden it just goes bang? Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to, to be. Just like that. <laughs> you could tell by his face. He was like, he put it. He put it in with such conviction that he was he was going to be all right reviewing it, and then he was just like, oh no. <laughs> that face yeah. says it all, mate. Come on. I need that sauce in my life. I've got. A, yeah, I've me got too. A... Wow. Oh. Wow. That's hot. That's hot, boys. The apple comes through straight. <laughs> Yeah, that should that should go on the label. There you go. That should get added to the oh, label. That's all, boys. It's <laughs> not. It, it's not every day we see you suffer that much. I know. Yeah, especially right away as well. Sorry, but is he hiccuping as well? I can hear it. Oh, I'm dribbling. <laughs> I can hear it. Right, I tell you what. We'll give you a minute to compose yourself. Yeah. Chris, why don't you tell us about the source that you're right. going to be reviewing? Just whilst Aaron composes himself. Okay. Oh, oh, I need to catch my breath. What the hell? <laughs> you do that, bro. What the hell? <laughs> it is so funny. But... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think Aaron's yeah. just realised that. Yeah. When Chile of the Valley say hot, it means hot. <laughs> but yeah, give us some info on the one that you are um, you're wait, gonna be banging out. No, wait, Chris. Before you get on this, Dan, I spoke to you. I sent you a message. You're good. Tell you, I found this amazing source of yours. I said it was amazing, it looks amazing. And you've teed up the back, <laughs> and I'm having a laugh about it. And then uh, you tell me nothing, <laughs> it's not available yet. Dan, if you can, if you're watching this, please message me and try and get me out a bottle of that. I would love to review it, honestly. It looks <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> Why did you say nothing? Did you, did you put extract in this? Because my tongue. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Composure's all right. Tell us about your right. sauce, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is a sauce from North Devon Chilies. Big shout out to them. I've got a couple of their other sauces to review, but I'll do that later on. Um, the yeah. reason why I'm doing this sauce now is because I've almost finished it. Um, it's called X More Beast. Um, it's yeah. fruit, lemongrass, Caribbean cunt curry, and a heap of fresh nut. <laughs> yeah, nearly slipped up on my words there. Oh, curry the- and some fresh naga chilies. Uh, yeah, I had to replace the bottle. Uh, wow, that was almost that was almost a that was almost a horrific moment right there. Like a good save, honestly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good save. I know. I know. Uh, that's, it's a nice nice colour. You see it more if I put when I put it into glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm panting. That's a nice. Oh, look at nice that color! I'm just waiting to get my vision back, but that looks pretty. That is a nice color. 
it is you a little, just tilt it a little. Got a bit little, a little bit of a glare. There you go. Look yeah. at that. That, that the consistency looks, looks nice on it as well. That looks like the Caribbean curry t- curry color. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a nice thickness as well. Right, let's get this review uh, underway. Boom! Crack on, bro. It def- you, you can definitely smell curry. And the lemongrass. Not so much the fruit, but the curry and the lemongrass. Every time yeah. I say curry now, you're just going to laugh. No, it's it's not only that, but amazing, amazing Aaron, Aaron, looks, Aaron looks like an egg that's sitting in the pan. Look how much he's sweating. <laughs> oh, right. I just had the other bit. <laughs> Oh, you not case. Yeah, so you just whilst Chris is quickly doing that, I get real. Oh my god, I can't even talk. I will get through this real quick, right? So, Apple does come through first of all. I won't joking about that. It's the first thing you get, and it's really bloody sweet and it's really nice. And you think to yourself, you know what? This is going to be really good. It's going to be one of those sauce I'm going to have on everything. You know. The next thing you know, next thing you know, Terracloss right jumps up out of nowhere. And sucker punches you in. And I'm telling you right now, well done. Well done. But I will point out the three out of four chili rating on the back is wrong. I would definitely say it's five. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right, right. Chris. I love it. How... Well, done. well done. Yeah, well done, Dan. And, uh, like I said, well done. I, I would I, love to review that sauce. I would love look to. forward to review. Well, tasting that sauce, not reviewing it, because after yeah, Aaron's yeah. reaction, I probably wouldn't be able to speak. It'll be all right. Um, just, yeah. Today. <laughs> Dan uh, Reed, have a word with Aaron Minter. <laughs> <laughs> that is lovely. It's really balanced. You can taste the curry, the Caribbean curry, and the fruitiness of it. Yeah. You get slight yeah. lemon grassy hints and I'm not really getting that much heat, but I've had quite a lot of it before. Yeah. So I'm probably so used to it. Mm. Yeah, that is that is a cracking it it's well balanced. It's probably so well balanced that you could hardly if you're used to it, more awesome. than the chili flavours. Well, I'm glad uh, your sauce is very lovely. Shout out North Devon chilies. Looks like you've got Thank a banger there, guys. Boys. Thank you as well um, to our awesome guy in the background running the show for putting that link in there. Thank you for dropping all yeah, of them. Th- yeah, thank you. We're, 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 we're going to give him a shout out at the end of the show anyway. So, without further ado, guys, I think it's, it's time tough. we bring back Extreme Heat Pete so that he can take on his challenge. Here he is, the man himself. Yo, 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 back again. So, oh, the loading I, symbol itself. Yeah, can I have a timekeeper on this? Someone... The extreme heat, Pete. There oh, we go. Bringing it burn for afterwards. No, uh, do we have anyone with a stopwatch? Yeah, anyone got a stopwatch for five minutes? <clears throat> Could someone, yeah, Could anyone? I would, but I'm running through my yeah, phone. I've got my, um. just get my watch up now. Yep. Yeah. So, Pete, uh, stop. So I'll run you through what the challenge is. It's yeah. the challenge by Chili Mark Burns. It's called the Fusion one. The Fusion Chili one. Mark Burns, right down there at the bottom. Go on, buddy. Like four million Scoville nuts. Now, I'm a so that's, the, that's the Fusion one nuts from Chili that's Mark Fusion Burns. One. Let's get that link dropped. I'm a veteran of these. I currently hold the record for the number of tubes consumed, which is three in a row. But tonight, well I'm still with one. Uh, Chili Mark Burns, drop me a message. I would love to buy a load off you because I'm going to be doing challenges in the show each week and I'd love to take this one on. I would also uh, love to do that, Chili Mark Burns. However, I have, uh, you know, whether Alex wants to have a laugh or not, but I do have a nut allergy, so I don't tend to put nuts in my mouth. So. He's just brought out the V2, the Fusion 2, which is a 9 I saw. Not yeah, so I've got I still they look terrifying. Yeah, so yeah, it's basically a tube with 6.4 million scoville nuts in. Now, I'm going to consume each. How nut. many are in there, Pete? Uh, Jesus, it, it 
varies. Can't really tell the new labels on them. I think okay. I there's nine earlier in this. Okay, that's fine. No worries, just intrigued. I will do, bro. Uh, uh, I'll eat one nut, show an empty mouth, then move on to the next nut. And as soon as I've consumed the whole tube, I'll do a five minute burn before consuming any drink or anything. Yeah, that's a fine. Special thing in the end. And what awesome. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get our, our uh, guy backstage to take me and Alex off screen so you and Chris, the timekeeper, are di- nice and clear yep. there. Here we go. We're going to duck out. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay, Chris. So I'm ready whenever you... I'm ready to start. So I'm going to get the first nut down me now. No, don't stop time here. Oh, man. These are absolutely loaded with extract. Ouch. So if you love the extract, yeah, not really a big not not really a big fan of extract, Pete. I'm not normally either, but these nuts are good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On to the last four. I've got a bit of a sweat building now. You see the colour in my face is changing. Man. I could definitely see the colour change. You've got this. Last two. I don't say this often, but I love these nuts. Last one. Last one. Same tea. All right, start the timer. All right, let's go. Five minutes. Yeah, so if there's anyone out there wanting to take these on, visit devilsdemise.co.uk. Get yourself some of these or go on the Confederation of Spice at Henry's Hot Sauce. He purchases there as well. Wow. How are you feeling, Pete? It's burning. I've got a right sweat on me at the moment. Yeah, I can see. It's quite hot in this room a minute at the moment as well, so. One minute down. These ones, for some reason, feel. Oh, very reflux. Uh, these ones, for some reason, seem to be a bit harder than the previous ones. You are doing really good, Pete. I don't know, Mark. I didn't prep well for these. And I'm feeling that. Plus, on top of that. 
on top of the challenge that you did earlier as well. Yeah, on top of the cap gun. You know, it is, it is hitting me, the, the effects of the cap gun earlier, these knocks. I can see I'm up to two and a half, just over two and a half minutes. Yeah. Well, I can see Alex having a lot of fun with these knots. <laughs> and Alex, if you want to join me on three minutes down, knots, I'm more than happy to join you. See, my sweat stopped to burn me. The extracts coming out of my sweat. Me, me bridge on me nose, well, spat here above my lip. Where my nose has been running, it's burning. Yeah, that's what you get extract. I'm trying not to touch my eyes. And the last thing you want to do is touch your eyes after touching extract. Ah, oh, you're almost there, Pete. Almost there. Got one minute left. As you've seen, when I've done the multiple challenges, my burn's been ten minutes or more. I just thought I'd do a five tonight. Things one two. Yeah. You are doing very well, very well. 30 seconds right. left. Right, so during that 30 seconds, I'm going to pull my surprise little thing while we do at the end here. I've got myself a shot glass. And I'm going to load it with this producer, this new UK producer, the amazing sources from these guys. It's called Kicking Chili. This is a habanero, mango, and chili, no, mango and ginger. Five, four, three, two, one. Five minutes over. So I'm now going to do a quick well chunk of the sauce for you guys. Uh, I Good mean, job. Good job, I'm Pete. Well done, bro. Genuinely. Um, yeah, oh. I'm, I'm more than happy to take on the challenge with you, bro. That looked absolutely brutal. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'm definitely willing to take on the challenge with you. Um, I think you that would be right? it'll definitely be fun. Yeah, well, yeah, that was mate. done, mate. That was that was really good, really, really, really good. I need to celebrate. That's yeah, you smashed it. It's exactly right. Chili Mark Burns what? says you smashed it, bro, uh, boss. I totally agree with Chili Mark Burns right so there. Do I. And that Extreme heat, heat. He didn't hold back, did he? This I'll is why. What. Uh, I think he's living up to the extreme heat. That was um, that was one of the the best challenges that we could have started with. I have yeah. to say, you know, bro, you set the bar. You set the bar quite high for for next week. When I obviously when I do a challenge with our next guest, and you know, so well, but I definitely uh, once, I, once I saw. Yeah, once I sort something out with uh, Chili Mark Burns, I'll um, I'll Matt, I'll get you back on the show and we'll we'll take them on together, mate. And we'll I'm looking we'll forward to Alex. Like, mate, this is gonna <laughs> be fun. <mate. laughs> do, do you know the thing is, right? I I could see Pete changing color, right? Now, <laughs> I've I've got quite good at when I have chilies. Now, when I don't know if you remember Aaron, but in our early videos, there'd be points where we would do chili stuff. And my face would go luminous red because they'd be super hot, right? It's not all though, is it? No, um, I, <laughs> I, um, I've got quite good at sort of not having that now, and I honestly think that that will bring it back. Gen I genuinely do. 
So, but that, that looks that looks honestly uh, really tough. And I, I really that really tough. That's madness, Pete. And you're insane. That's it, yeah. Now, on that note, Pete, it's been absolutely amazing having you on. Uh, well, thank for you for joining first, us, man. The pilot of, you know, um, Sunday with the Suns, hosted by Extreme Heat yeah. Charge. Amazing yeah. to have you on. Thank you for uh, filling a larger spot than than that was expected of you. So, you know, we really appreciate that last minute thing. Uh, Indeed. Yeah, awesome. It's been an absolute you, pleasure coming on, guys. Be you are a life saver. Thank you for joining us on our first ever show, man. And it's you it's gone better than we ever could have. You know, thank, thank you so much. Always around. Thank you. you have a good oh, one, bro. And we will speak Later, to you bro. soon. So there goes Pete. Right. I like so, the challenge, eh? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he set the bar really, really high. Yeah, and I'm, sorry, I'm looking forward to next is... week. And yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. And I tell you what, the next person to come on and do a challenge, uh, obviously you're going to be doing it with me uh, or Aaron, because I'm not letting him escape this part of the show, right? You're going to be doing it with either me or Aaron at a point when he can do it when he's not so sweaty and irritated by a soup hot sauce that he didn't think he was going to be trying. Um, yeah. Not just- so they, they need to be able to take on, like take on some, some mad stuff. And, you know, even, even if you can't, I cannot wait. And <laughs> Alex lull, <laughs> I, uh, I can't wait to have, uh, to, to continue this, to continue this guys. This has been, it's been, it's been a lot of fun and, you know, this is, you know, I, ho- I hope you guys that have enjoyed watching us. And, yeah. uh, you know, like and I said. This is going to be a regular slot on a Sunday night. And we're absolutely honoured once again to be working alongside the amazing Sons of Fire. And uh, thank you to our uh, prez, Sean Overthrow of the UK chapter of Sons of Fire for giving us this opportunity. And I want to bring in the man backstage himself right Let's now. Bring him in. He's here. Don Dervish, where are you? I'm right thank here. Thank you, bro. Thank with... you for thank <laughs> you for being with us tonight, man. That's right. And, and Absolute helping pleasure. Us. It's been oh, it's been great being backstage and kind of just dealing with what goes on at you know the backstage business. It's a lot easier like that. Just me being here and clicking and clonking. But yeah, guys, it was a top quality show. Excellent thank reviews, you, Pete. Absolute crazy, but you know, he, he smashed it. Absolute smashed Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And, yeah. uh, Kevin, we're gonna have to get you on at some point, mate. We've got to get you on with a challenge at some point. Do you know what? If if the, the cap gun comes, I'll, I'll we spoke it. about this. We yeah. spoke about this earlier. I was gonna tell you later, Aaron, but I thought yeah. you spoke about it earlier. It. That's a conversation to be had, brother. Now, I would yes. like to say we have learned a few things tonight. We have. Learned that Pete, you know, has is is, is an absolute lunatic. <laughs> That's Pete, what I've learned about Pete today. <laughs> pain pressure. Well, God yeah. knows what. He has some weird sauces in his collection. I mean, oyster yeah. sauce and shit. Yeah. I'm going to bring him back in. He's, he's in the yeah, room. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. bring him back in. Yeah. Him back in. Pete, I'm bringing you back in. Yeah, nice. Might as well talk, talk, talk about him while he's here. <laughs> we also found out not to trust a free chili label when it should actually be yeah. a hell of a lot more. We also know that those yeah, beautiful yeah. sauces that we buy sometimes, you know, don't take them for granted. The label might look good, but it might be the thing that is a demise of your backside in the morning. <laughs> Thank you for that. We've also <laughs> learned that Chris is not as camera shy as he thought. I'm glad the yeah. uh, opportunity. Yeah, I've I've actually completely surprised myself tonight, to be quite honest. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. And as well, um, I just want a, a huge shout to my Thank brother you, here well for um, taking pretty much taking the reins on this one. And, yeah, I uh, pretty much you, took control this week. I did. You're right. You did good. It's been great. Um, I obviously we haven't been able to get Sean uh, on our president, but he will be on our show 
at some point. But we would like to tell you who our guest is next week, but it's a surprise. It's a mystery. It always will be. It's a mystery guest. Maybe even two. That's all right. Left my screen for a minute then. Pete's enjoying himself there now. He is. Oh, right. Couch can hide going on at the moment. <laughs> it's been great, guys. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say thank you, Kem, for running the back. But if we can uh, get you back out now. No. Pete, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. And we will... I'll definitely contact you about this, Enjoy this challenge life. that we are going to take on together. Life. Enjoy your chili high, bro. Yeah, sure. Laters. And well, all that's left to say from us is uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's been Sunday with Sun. We are, and I am, Aaron. I'm Alex. And I'm Chris. And, and we'll be back next week. We will be back next week with another banger of a show, guys. So please make sure you tune in when we will have more guests, more reviews, and even more challenges. Till next week. See you later. Have a good one. <laughs>